guys. Well, I haven't gotten this all completely written, and I'm actually just going to talk to you guys a little bit about this character. Um, initially, I had hoped to show or reshow Gwendolyn, my character, um, who falls in love with Darian. Um, instead, I ended up shelling Darian's mother, who I had written a little bit about because it's important for the background of his story. Um, but I'd never intended to actually have her in doll form. Um, but basically her story is very, it's kind of sad. She fell in love with Darian's father, who unfortunately is not a very good person. Um, he didn't start out that way as a child. He was, um, uh, you know, young and impressionable and, um, trusting, but then a series of events happened in his life that made him hard. And, um, I keep wanting to call her Gwendolyn, but that's not who she is. <laughs> um, we'll call her Gleodora for now. Um, she fell in love with Sebastian who is the alchemist um, of my story and they actually reside in the um, kingdom that is in the parallel universe that Alden goes to. Um, anyway, the shortened version of the story, since I don't really have it all written out, it's just ideas right now flowing. Um, she falls in love with Sebastian. Sebastian's given a, um, an opportunity to further his skills in alchemy. Um, but he was going to decline and he tells Gleodora this, but Gleodora says, no, you should go because we're poor and we don't have money and, um, we could never have a good life if you don't go and do this. And... He said, no, I don't want to do that because that means we'll be separated for far too long. Um, and they end up having a falling out and Sebastian gets angry and, um, he gets this chip on his shoulder and he leaves her and, um, she sadly, she had trusted in him and thought that that would never happen. But it did, and Sebastian goes off and he does things that turn into pure evil. And um, I'll have to do a video just on him, but since it's just about Gleodora, um, I'm not going to get into that. But what ends up happening is she um, finds out she's with his child. She falls from grace, her parents disown her, and she goes into um, hiding. Um, to have her baby and um, with just a couple of friends that um, were true to her. Um, she has her baby and lives very short, a very short time after that and dies of a broken heart. Um, her friends bring the baby to her parents who had disowned her and they don't want anything to do with it. Um, and so they find the alchemist, Sebastian, and um, bring Darian to him. Um, and then I'll go more into that later and why or what happens, how he responds, and um, just the whole dynamic of that. But um, so anyway, that was the small, small, small thing that I'd written about Gleodora, Darian's mother. And I was never going to shell her, and here she is. So, anyway, I I have a lot of trouble with writing lately. I uh, This is a little bit of a tangent, but um, I find that I really want to write the parts that I'm excited about, but my brain wants to write things in order, and so I make myself wait. And when I make myself wait, then I get less excited, and then I just kind of slow down, and then I don't write anything for a long time. So, I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you 
write things out of order or um, do you go straight through like I'm trying to do? Um, looking for a little bit of inspiration and encouragement. Uh, but anyway, that is Gliadora in a nutshell. And um, yeah, so thanks for listening and let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas to contribute and I will talk to you and see you in the next video. Thank you.